Experiment number one. You can turn the mammoth fruit into a ghost. Okay, so apparently if you equip the ghost fruit and let an NPC kill you, you can see I'm invisible. Now, if I go equip the mammoth fruit, I should still be invisible. Let's see. Yo, I just became a ghost mammoth. That's crazy. Today, I'm going to be testing 40 crazy mythical fruit experiments you guys sent me to see if they're real or fake. And for number two, if you use dough scorching donut into a portal, apparently it bugs the game. So I'm going to tell my friend right here, teleport to random place. Okay, so I'm going to use dough F. What the heck? Where, where did that just put me? Let me go back to where it disappears. Scorching donut. Look at that. It, it just randomly bugs you to a random place. So that experiment was actually true. That's interesting. For experiment number three, if two dragon players both use Dragon Claw each other it'll bug each other out i got my boy zoro's bathwater over here he's using dragon let me go equip dragon myself all right zoro when i say go unleash it go oh 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 damn y'all saw that yeah it was actually making this bug okay look at him river eyes and shed and chat what the hell nah zoro just came up with a crazy idea he said we could try it all on each other like all three of us that'd be crazy let's do it all right so we're gonna get all close to each other and three two one go e e what the Okay, that was crazy. That was actually a good one right there. That was good. For experiment number four, T-Rex can walk on water. So obviously we already know Kitsune can run on water, as you can see right here. That's nothing new. You know, we, we, we already knew that. But let's see if we transform into the T-Rex form, if we can walk on water as well. All right, I just got my fury meter bar. Let's go ahead and transform and let's see if we can walk on water with this. And we definitely cannot. We are dying very quickly. Rest in peace. Now that was our first experiment that wasn't true, but let's see if this next one is. Kit soon has lower base M1 damage than Leopard. I honestly do not believe this one. Let's go ahead and do Leopard first. This is the less valuable one. Let's do M1 real quick. Okay, 1354 for M1. Let's do a whole M1 combo, 6,601. Now let's go ahead and switch over to Kit soon and let's transform to full form. Let's see how much damage we do with the M1s here. Okay, per M1, we deal 1,096, full M1. Oh my gosh, 11,000 damage plus burn damage. Oh, that is completely false. Kit soon deals way more damage. Experiment number six, Control can cut sea castle. I don't exactly know what y'all meant by this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just test it out anyways. So I'm at sea castle right now. Let's go ahead and do the room. So obviously normally you can cut trees like that. That's normal right there. But what we're looking for to see if we can cut the building. Let's see. Okay, no, we can't. It just does the rock. Let me see if I can try other parts of sea castle. Let's try this pillar right here. Let's see if this works. Nope, just does a normal rock. What about this building right here? Oh, oh, you could do this building. So that technically counts. You can cut sea castle. So this experiment is true. You can just only do certain things. Things. Experiment number seven, apparently Kitsunes can stack on top of each other. I do not believe this one, but I have a 30 million body player in the server that's telling me otherwise. All right, here we go. So I got this guy right here. He says, go up and remove your fruits. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, okay. I got to go up and remove my fruit. So I go talk to this guy and I go talk and remove my fruit. Sure. Blocks were removed. Oh, yo, what the heck? What? I didn't even know you could do this. Like, I'm still in the kitsu form, but I removed my block fruit. And he's just sitting on top of me. Yo, I wonder if we could extend this further. Yo, Yen, go kitsu form. Okay, now that Yen's mounted on top, I have to get to this NPC. And then this guy's going to reset his fruit. And then Yen's going to be able to transform. Yo, <laughs> look at that, bro. We have three kitsu stacking on each other. That's crazy. W7th experiment. Imagine seeing this in a public server. You just have three kitsu just like charging at you. This would be insane. Experiment number eight. If you reset set while someone's mounted you on kitsune you fall through the map so we did the glitch once again and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this 30 million bunny play reset and it's gonna make us fall through the map okay now that we're at the bottom i'm gonna tell him reset let's see what happens it's gonna reset look at it it made us just fall straight through the map <laughs> that's crazy look look we literally it just literally just broke the game that is insane bro we literally just found that out right now by the way and i decided to add that to the list it's bugging out like crazy bro experiment number nine the leopard can do the t pose now this one's been in this game for a while i've never been able to do it. We're going to try again once again today. Every time I do one of these types of videos, I always include this and I've never once been able to do it. Let's do it. So apparently what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to go in this little chair, right? And you're supposed to hold transformation while trying to step into the chair. See, it just, the timing is just really tough. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go like this. Transform, step in the chair. Ah, didn't work. We're going to give it three more tries. If it doesn't work, then we're going to say this experiment is not true. We're going to go transform. Ah, it still didn't work, bruh. We're going to go like this. We're going to get right up on the chair, right up on the chair. It, it's, it's just not letting me get in that chair bro it is not whatsoever bro okay okay at this point this experiment has been either patched or fake i don't know what it won't even let us get in the chair bro but what if the mammoth could do it yep for the 10th experiment we're doing the same as that thing let's see if mammoth can sit in the chair while doing this okay okay i tried to transform it wasn't able to work let's try one more time let's try one more time let's go in the chair yeah it wasn't able to work bro okay we're gonna, we're gonna try this a few more times i don't want to give up on first two tries okay we got this we got this we have to just time it there we just have to time it like this boys go in there like this right 
Oh, oh, we, we kind of did something there. It like put us in the chair, but then it glitched us out. So I'd say that experiment's actually kind of true, bro. Experiment 11, apparently Mammoth can fly. So he said in chat, I need to have permanent spider. So let me go ahead and equip permanent spider real quick. There we go, I equip spider. What next, bro? He said, click once on any equip button of your perm fruits. So let me go do Mammoth. Then do spider F and click again right after. You gotta be very quick. It says, stop holding your move first. He said, actually equip the fruit before you do the spider F. Okay, so we have to do it slightly before. Oh. Oh, we did it. We did it. I'm playing. I'm playing. Hold on. Hold on, bro. My hands aren't even on the keyboard. I can't. I can't stop. I can't stop it, bro. Hold on. Let me go mammoth. I'm literally just flying as a mammoth. <laughs> this is so goofy, bro. What the heck? I can't stop it, though. I can't stop. I can't even control where I'm going. So this experiment is 100% true. That is goofy as hell. Dog. Look at this. Experiment number 12, T-Rex transformation messes up your camera angle. So the entire premise is that basically you equip T-Rex, you unlock the transformation. So we got to get a free meter up. Fear meter up. Now we transform. And what we do is we waste all of our moves we just start spamming moves to lower down our fear meter right and we're not supposed to hit npcs that way it actually goes down so let's just waste it all and i guess once your fear meter runs out your camera angle should be messed up a little bit more to go i'd say one or two more moves there we go oh Bruh. camera angle is weird what the heck yeah that, that 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 is weird man this is like tripping with me friend let me reset you guys about to see it's about to change back to normal wait it's still bugged what the Oh, let me leave the game and come back. Now it looks normal once again. This is how it's supposed to look. Experiment number 13. If you transform into leopard while jumping in water, it negates drown damage. There's no shot this one is true, but y'all put it in there. So I'm here to test it out. Let's go ahead and equip leopard. And let's see what we do here. And let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm going to jump in the water, right? Transform. Oh, I think I did that wrong. Hold on. Let me retry that again. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to transform the moment before I go into the water, right? So let me go like this. Okay, I'm still drowning. Maybe I did that wrong. Let me try one more time. Okay, I'm going to go like this. Transform. Transform. No, I'm still taking damage. That uh, experiment is fake. That's not true. <laughs> Next experiment. If two players use C at the same time, they will both take no damage. I'm interested to see how this one works. It's similar to the Draconic Claw one we did earlier. So hopefully it does some buggy thing or something interesting. Let's see. So I got my dough user right here. We're about to test this out. As soon as I say go, we're going to use it. Three, two, one, go. Pierce the clothesline. We're about to hit each other. What the heck? What the heck? Wow. It literally just negates all damage. That's crazy. We took, both of us took no damage. Still a W experiment nonetheless. Next experiment, T-Rex can stack on Kitsune. So we already seen earlier that Kitsunes can stack on Kitsunes, but let's see if T-Rexes can stack on Kitsune. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same premise and method as we did before. So let's make our way up here. Got my Fury Bar full. Let me go ahead and mount on this guy right quick. Now he's going to go reset his Devil Fruit and let's see if I can transform. Yes, sir. Hey, that looks kind of weird. I ain't going to lie, right? I'm able to use all of my moves. He said, do an attack. I'll run for passive. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting, bro. So this experiment is actually true. Next experiment, dragon form can fly a boat. Okay, let me spawn this miracle boat right here. Then let's go dragon form. And I guess what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to try to position ourselves on the boat. How do we do that, though? Where's my body? Is that go first person? Okay. Let me just try to go first person and just go on the boat. Oh, yo, what the heck? Look at this. The, the, the boat's literally flying right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Are these experiments are kind of crazy, bro. Look at this. This is crazy. I wonder if I de-transform right now, if it'll just stay in there. Let me jump up. Will it just stay in the sky? No, it won't. Okay, so Dragon was able to fly a boat, but let's see if Kitsune could do it as well. The heck? He's literally riding on my boat on the thing right now. Anyways, same premise as last time. Let's go ahead and just spawn the boat. Miracle right there. Let's transform to Kitsune. And then I guess what we're supposed to do is go first form and then see if we could just go in this thing, I guess. Come on. Let's try to position this. This is not working as well as it was for Dragon. He's saying, chat it only works with lantern so let's try this now let's go in here let's try to back him up into thing yep go ahead mount me let's back him up into thing oh there we go what the heck yo yo, yo hold on hold on we gotta do that again we gotta do that again he said let me control it okay i'll mount you all right there we go look at this look at this what the heck <laughs> yo <laughs> yo Sheesh, this is insane. Experiment 18. Holding Doe C move while removing fruit will bug your animation. So we're going back to Sea Castle. We've done a lot of experiments on that guy up there that removes your fruit. Let's see if this one works as well, boys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Doe C. Wait, how am I actually going to do this? Damn, I can't even hold C while I'm talking to him. How do I do this? How am I meant to do this? Do this. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'll just do remove it. There we go. What the heck? How did that even work, bro? He didn't even allow me to remove the fruit. This guy said they patched that one. Oh. Okay, buddy. I guess you have it right there. <laughs> Next experiment. If you use human V4 dashes while transforming Kitsune, you'll be invisible. First step, I got to get the human race. So let's hope we get it first try and we get shark. Okay, what about the second try? What about the second try? We get rabbit. Third time's a charm. We get shark. There we go. Got human after like five attempts. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try to get my V4. And then we also need to get our Kitsune tails up. Give me one second, boys. Two seconds later. All right, I got my human V4. Let's go human V4. There we go. Now I'll try 
transform into kit soon. Let's use the dashes. Let's see if it'll make me invisible. Oh, it made me invisible only temporarily, but then it comes back. That's still OP though. What about this next experiment? Will it work with the person mounted on me? So let me go ahead and ally him. Let me tell him mount me. All right, so will it make him invisible? No, he doesn't make him invisible. He's just sitting there floating on top of me, clear as day. <laughs> okay, so that second experiment is not true. Next experiment, T-Rex takes no damage on lava. So we're at hot and cold in second C right now. We're about to test this out. I know for a fact, Leopard, I'm pretty sure takes no damage. Obviously, Magma takes no damage. Let's see if it's true for T-Rex. All righty, here we go. Let's transform to T-Rex form. Let's see. Do we take damage on lava? Oh, wait, damn. We take a lot of damage. Oh, wait. My health is just zooming down. Look at that. Okay, so that experiment is false. Okay, so T-Rex obviously can't withstand lava, but what about Kitsune? Really hoping this one's true, boys. Really hoping this one's true. All right, we got our full transformation form. Let's try it out on the lava. And yeah, that most definitely does not survive on lava. Oh my gosh. My health is just tank. Experiment fake. Next experiment, boot can go faster while holding rocket in unawakened form. I know this isn't a mythical fruit. I just wanted to test this one out myself. All right, so what you have to do is you have to go to awakening experts. You have to unawaken the Z. Okay, I already have it unawakened. Then I guess what you do is you go pull out a rocket right here. You hold out in your hand, you transform, hold out in your hand, right? And I guess you're supposed to be able to go faster. This doesn't seem to be working, bro. Well, let me go. Let me go to my friend. Maybe he'll know how to do it. I think I may have figured something out, boys. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to untransform, right? We're going to transform, instantly pull out the rocket, and then we're going to go like forward or something <sighs> thought i had something but we lost it oh there we go right here right here right here right here look at this look at this look at this you see how forward dashing you see how forward dashing i got it i got it boys i got it. basically it makes you go really fast that's interesting look at that the speed of that see that that's crazy so it pulls you a specific direction it's interesting though watch this this is the direction i'm going this time boys <laughs> oh my god that is quick i said that was a worthwhile experiment even though it wasn't a mythical bro that was funny i forgot what number we're on but next experiment leopard c goes the same distance as flash step now this was not too unbelievable we gotta find out firsthand because that's the point of this video testing experiments all right so i have my boy mirage right here standing right next to me so i'm gonna tell him go ahead and flash step there he goes okay that's, that's the distance that's the maximum distance of his flash step now let's see the maximum distance of my after image assault oh it doesn't go as far it's just barely further bro so it does not go as far as flash step kind of close though and while we're on the topic of distance this next experiment is interesting t-rex leap goes further than mammoth leap so let me tell my boy right Right here switch to mammoth i'm gonna go t-rex of course we're both gonna try to go the maximum of distance our leap can go and then see which is which all right so he's about to use his maximum we'll see how far his goes all right go ahead let it go damn that went kind of far okay so let me see how, how far can mine go okay okay how, how can i aim this let's name it like that damn did I aim that wrong? If I if I aim that wrong, that's crazy because I didn't even go close to the distance his. He said, I think I can do it better too. Yeah, let's do a rerun. Let's do a rerun. Okay, let's do his. He's going to go further. Oh my God, that was way further. Okay, okay. You know what, bro? You know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me try this. Let me try this. I'm not about to get beaten like this. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. T-Rex I got to leap is not anywhere close to the distance map this goes. So this experiment is fake, bro. This next experiment is one I've been curious about for a while. Venom flight goes faster when low HP. Now, I've heard people say this a lot. Me personally, I don't notice much of a difference. It could be true, but we're about to find out for ourselves right now. First off, let me make my way over to the bridge so we can race. All right, I'm going to have my friend over here. I'm going to have him get me to about one tap. Then we're going to do a race. All right, I'm right here. He's right over there. Let's go in three, two, one one and go let's go ahead and go let's see which one's faster how much faster is it oh mine's faster by quite a bit bro mine's faster by quite a bit this is even close look at this look at this y'all see much much faster it is when you're lower okay so this experiment is actually true i didn't think it was that much of a difference though look at that that's kind of crazy lost count of the experiments we're on but for the next one it's saying kitsune has more dash attacks than any other mythical let's go ahead and test this out firsthand so obviously we have gravity gravity actually has no dash attacks okay so <laughs> we're off of that Last but not least, we have Kitsune. It seems the average has been about two per mythical. Let's see this. Okay, Tails Burning Agony, Wild Assault. Okay, those, those, that's literally only one. But I guess if we consider the transformation, because this one is the only one where the transformation drastically changes the moves. All right, so we have one Wild Assault right there. Let's transform. Now we have another one right here. Curse Enchantment. Okay, now we have Tails Burning Agony. That's two. And then we still have Wild Assault. Okay, so that's three. So I guess Kitsune does have the most, huh? Next experiment, Control can cut down the Diamond Tree. And by Diamond Tree, I mean the one 
one that's in second C, this one right here. Now, I have no doubt that control could pick this thing up, but I need to find out firsthand for myself. Let's do control area. Let's do levitate. Okay, yeah, I perfectly can. That's that's no problem for control. That was easy. But can control still pick up and float boats? Let's go find that out. All right, let's go over here. We'll do like sentinel. Okay, that should work. Let's go control area. And then let me go ahead and use levitate in the boat. What the heck? Oh, wow, it's floating the boat. There's no doubt about that. It's literally floating right there. But I wanted it to float it with me on it. Let's do it like this. There we go. I did it. I managed to make myself float. Okay, so this experiment is still true. You just have to be really quick and uh, have a little bit of luck and timing. Next up, a flamingo flight can mount a kitsune. So let me go ahead and get my tail beast form once again. All right, there we go. You're about to see me transform into kitsune for the millionth time this video. Now let me tell him, yo, can you come over here with flamingo flight? There he goes right there. Okay, let me see if he can come mount me. Let me ally him first. There we go. Doesn't work. Wow. <laughs> Okay, it literally just killed all of my excitement. It just, it just straight up doesn't work. Okay, what if you mount first and then try to use Flamingo Boat? Okay, he's mounted first and it just, it just takes him off. Okay, yeah, that just doesn't work. Next experiment, if you hold Leper X while you're out of sky jumps, you'll get more sky jumps. I've done this one a lot, but I think they patched it as of recent. So let's go ahead and find out ourselves. So let's go Leopard form. Let's use all 10 of our jumps right here. And then I'll keep pressing space for until we're out. There we go, we're out. Now we hold Spiral and Kick, which is our Leopard X move. And then supposedly we're supposed to get our uh, jumps back. I've done this in the past let's see if it still works all right we should be good now there we go and it doesn't work anymore they patched it damn that is actually kind of disappointing i liked that one damn it blog streets next experiment says that the t-rex prey mark will multiply depending on distance now to properly test this out what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a full m1 combo to test the base prey damage and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to test it again and they're going to teleport to a faraway island to see if it does more damage okay so let's see what a full m1 does so we're walking away let's see how much it does so right now it's at four thousand five thousand five thousand one hundred 45. So now I'm going to tell him when I do M1 teleport to Ice Castle. M1. Okay, teleport to Ice Castle. Hurry. Let's see how much more damage it does. Yo, that just did like 2,000 or 1,000 more extra damage. Sheesh. So the damage does multiply if you're further away. Okay, so that experiment was true. Let's take it even further. For the next experiment, we're going to have him go in his Portal V dimension and see how much damage it does then. So we did 5,000 base damage and did over 6,000 when he teleported to the island. Let's see how much it does if he teleports to V. Let's Let's see how this goes. So M1. All right, there we go. Let's see how it goes. He's in Portal V. Okay, the damage is going up pretty decent. It looks about the same rate as when he teleported to Ice Castle. Yep, 5,948. It's about the same, looks like. Okay, so them going into Portal V doesn't increase the multiplication. Interesting. I thought it would. And for the next experiment, it's also a T-Rex run. And this one says that the prey mark can stack. So what I'm going to try doing is me and him are going to try attacking this guy at the same time to see if we both can hit him with the prey scale. Let's both try hitting all right so three two one and go let's hit him all right does he take double damage kz fufu in chat said my passive doesn't do damage oh so it only can count for one so they did that on purpose so it wouldn't be toxic that makes sense all right that experiment did not work now this next one also isn't a mythical one however i think it's a very fire one i think i'll want to see this so my friend in chat is saying love has infinite range so he's teleported all the way to the winter castle and i guess the premise is he's going to be able to hit me with a love ability all the way at winter castle so let's see okay we're waiting here you gotta wait for it to travel oh what the heck yo he was right on the money I, I guess it just took a long time to get there let me tell him do it again this time i'll be more patient okay okay i think he did it again i think we just have to wait for it to show up this, that's actually crazy that it has infinite range dog dog that is actually insane what so love actually has infinite range it just takes a long time to get there now i'm gonna be honest you ain't sniping anyone across the map with that but that's still crazy to know next experiment is that Doe unawakened F move can go on water. So first things first, I have to go equip Doe. Then we have to go unawakened the F move, which is the donut roller move. I do not believe in this one. I'm not a believer, but we could be surprised. Bruh. Awakening expert, unawakened F. I feel like I'm about to just be proved right here, but y'all are the ones that put this in there. So I got to test it. Doe roller test and now. Yeah, okay. That is just straight up. Just not true. The moment I touched that water, it straight up interrupted my thing, bro. Like, hold, let me let me try again just for good measure. Donut roller. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That interrupts right away, bro. Don't, don't, don't give me no roller time. Next experiment, apparently control can't cut barrier moves. Let me tell someone to chat, someone eat barrier. So as we shown earlier, normally control could pick up anything. Like this tree right here, I could pick that up. This tree over here, I could pick that up. That big tree up there, I could pick that up. But let's see if it works on this barrier move. These barrier stairs, I can't pick that up. Okay, this barrier wall, also can't pick that up. Let's see if it works on the ultimate. Ultimate right there, also cannot pick that up. So yeah, uh, control is pathetic against barrier. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this is crazy. Cut, cut everything other than these barriers next experiment t 
T-Rex takes more damage from meteors. We have another T-Rex one. We've had a lot of these, these videos, but this one I'm actually kind of curious about because it would make sense. Get it? Because, you know, dinosaurs, meteors, dinosaurs extincted the meat. You know, y'all get what I'm trying to say. So first off, I'm going to stay on a non-T-Rex fruit first to see how much damage his meteors do. Let's see how much it does. Right around 1,964. Okay. As soon as I'm out of combat, we're going to equip T-Rex, do the same thing, see how much damage. All right. I got T-Rex equipped. Let's see how much damage this one does. Okay. He said 1.8K. Okay. So it's basically, basically about the same. So that experiment is disappointingly false. Next experiment says that Doe F is faster than Kitsu. So we're about to do a race to prove that wrong. Cause I know for a fact Kitsu is about to win. All right. Three two, one, and go. You know what I'm saying? I don't even need to worry about this. Look at that. Eat my dust, bro. Eat my dust. Sheeeeee. Pass that with flying colors, bro. It's not even a competition. Like, Kitsune's just like 10 times faster. So that experiment was false. Straight cap. We only have three more experiments to go, boys. Experiment number 40. Buddha transformation can ride on Kitsune. We obviously seen it work with stacking Kitsune. We've seen it work with T-Rex and Leopard. Let's see if it works for this one. I don't know if it's going to be any different because of how large Buddha is so that's why i'm kind of honestly curious all right here we go okay i'm got my transformation let me go ahead and ally him all right got my buddha user let me go ahead and talk to the npc yes sir there we go try to transform bro <laughs> what the heck what the heck dog what that is so goofy bro that's so goofy oh, i want him to try it with awaken let me reset let's try this again all right round two let's get it let's get it go ahead and get on top of me wait paused <laughs> Don't clip that. Don't clip that, boys. All right, do it. Shee! That's kind of crazy, bro. Oh, my God. So, it, like, shrinks him down. He's not as big as he would be, but I must say, this is this is still kind of crazy. This is wild. So, experiment proven. Experiment number 41. If a magma user rides a kitsune, the lava will appear on water. I don't know how true this one is. I, I don't really expect it to be true whatsoever, but that's what we're here for. We have to test this out. Let's go in the water. Let's see if the lava pools appear. Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of does, but it's not saving me from drowning. You gotta be kidding me. So I guess this is like technically true. It's appearing, but look, it's like so delayed for one. And for two, it's not appearing on, in time for me to like actually not drown. So I, I, don't, I don't really know what to deem this, bro. I don't really know what to deem this. I guess it's technically true. All right, boys. And for the last experiment of the video, Kit soon can glitch more than four people in a raid. So you see, normally you can only put four people in a raid. There's only four slots. However, with the mounting capability of Kitsu, we should be able to glitch more than one person in there. First step though, I need to get two more people in the server. All right, here we go. I got five people in the server. Three of the slots are filled right now. So only slot left is me, right? So I'm going to go over here. I'm about to ally my alt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go transform into my tailed beast form, right? On my alt account, I'm going to go ahead and just mount onto him. From here, I'm going to go buy a chip and we should be able to teleport him in with me. Let's find out. Okay, let's get in there. Teleport. All righty. Let's see if it teleports with me. Three, two, one. Oh, it did. So it works. It perfectly works. That's W's. W way to end up the video boys so here's a way you could glitch in your uh, your buddies do raids with you oh well, that is all the experiments for this video boys we did 42 mythical fruit experiments i really enjoy doing these type of videos hopefully you do too if y'all want me to do this again make sure to comment down more experiments for me to test for the next one but with that i'll see y'all later